Alrighty, so this is my first try using the iCoat countertop epoxy and some of the uh, products that were sent to me for evaluation, I guess, or for my opinion and to um, play with it. My impression is that this product has been used um, historically for countertops, obviously, and flooring, etc., but they would like to kind of expand into the um, pouring or art making market. So they sent me um, a couple of um, huge containers of product. So I've gone ahead and um, mixed it up. One to one ratio. Uh, it's fairly thick. It's thicker than what I'm accustomed to, but it could be the temperature because it's very, very cold here in Canada. But I can't do a lot of talking because this stuff's going to harden on me if I don't get using it. So, try and get this into camera here. Um, they sent me some of the Metal Illusion powder in Arctic White. So I'm went ahead and mixed that um, just by itself into some um, clear resin and it's absolutely gorgeous. A little goes a long, long way. And then I used it with some of the blue, Arctic blue, one coat color dispersion medium, I believe. I also mixed the blue dispersion medium with just with clear epoxy. Um, and I also have the dispersion medium in another color, I believe. Yes, I have have it in caramel. So I went ahead and mixed that also with some clear. And that's in here. And then they have some super stains, which seem to be more um, translucent. So I've mixed, this, is, this color is called Orange Torch, which comes out quite yellow, definitely a yellowy orange. And I mixed some of that with the Arctic White to give me a gold, but it turned out very yellow, so I mixed in um, some of the, oh goodness, I'm talking fast, uh, Super Stain in Canyon Jumper, I believe, yes, the Super Stain is translucent, so I mixed some of that in here to give it more of a gold. I think I'm still going to add a bit more of it. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Okay, and this is the one I'm most excited about. This is the color I mixed. I kind of expected to get green because I mixed the um, orange with the blue and it's a beautiful turquoise color, which is really hard to show you on camera. I'm sure it's gonna look a lot prettier when I get it on a white background.
about 15 minutes since I mixed this up. Actually more than that, more like 25 minutes. So it's definitely getting thick on me. going to do now I think is just get all the product out onto the canvas so that I don't waste any and see if I can do anything with um, a blow dryer caramel. <laughs> so cool. So I mixed um, a quarter cup of each, so I ended up with a half a cup in total, which is more, way more than I needed.
dirty pour with my resin, which is thickening up on me big time. So I'm working very quickly and I can't really show you what I'm doing, but I'm just putting all the leftover resins into one container. And then I think I'm just going to give it a little stir and cover the canvas. A piece of art here. I am just playing and it is fun. Oh, wait a second. Okay. All right, so I've got. Okay. flaky stuff. I don't know if it's made with mica flakes, but looks like it is. It's so beautiful. And the way it kind of, the way all the different products intermingle with each other is so cool. cell action happening. Definitely be taking you up close when I'm done.
difficult because I can't really use my hands because they're all covered in resin. So I can't do much zooming in and out, but I think I'm just going to let it sit now. I have no idea if it's level, so there's a good chance it's not, but I really had fun. Just in case this ends up being pretty, <laughs> I am going to get rid of the drips. And I'm assuming I probably need to give it a torch or two while it's curing so that it doesn't end up with a bunch of bubbles. It really aren't that many bubbles in it, which is surprising because these are the hair dryer. a lot of the cells that I had before but maybe I'll get some new ones we shall see <laughs> 